mountains. My kids get straight A's. Grades are really, really important to me. I don't care what they grow up to be as long as they're not stupid. It's the day of the swap, and both wives prepare to leave their lives behind. What do they hope to gain from the swap? Charles has all my thinking for me, and I could definitely learn to be a little bit more confident in that, not to second guess myself. I would assume that they're going to be pretty shocked at my lifestyle. I hope they have fun with it, and they take something away from it. Give them hell, baby. Bye. After a 2,000 mile journey, the wives finally get to see where they'll be living for the next two weeks. I don't really want to stay here alone. It's not kept up. It's not clean. It's kind of dirty. It looks like a pretty uptight house. Before they meet their new families, the wives get a chance to explore their new homes. Their house is ridiculously clean. Like, they've never cooked in here a day in their life. It's very, very dirty. They have a lot of uh, microwave food. I've never, ever, like, cooked these things. Those are flamethrowers. I'll light some fire with them, but I'm not cleaning. Because they don't clean anyway, so I don't have to. Princess, it's all about me. That's really obnoxious. They do torture stuff. That's not hygienic, either. And she has a million shoes. I've never owned that many shoes in my life. Nothing designer. Definitely not me. There's teeth whitening stuff. Nice white smiles at the age of five. This looks like a straight jacket. Look, it's another mirror. I think this house has a ridiculous amount of mirrors. Like, everywhere they go. Like, look, it's me. And then it's me again. And then I'm over there, too. Oh, uh-uh, no. No, no, no. That, there's knives. That's like a machete. This is nuts. For the first week, the wives must live by the rules of their new family. Each wife has written a manual as a guide to the running of their homes. People compare us to film and rock star couples. That seems really ridiculous to me. We're a family of sideshow performers. He eats light bulbs. <laughs> He's bright. <laughs> Charles is a wonderful husband. He looks after me so well, he gets the kids up in the morning so I can sleep. He does laundry. I'm not a typical housewife. Obviously, she's not a housewife at all. I believe that a hot meal should be waiting for Jeremy after his long day at work. I cater to Jeremy a lot. She's a slave. Charles could take up to two hours getting ready. That's completely and utterly ridiculous. Makeup is silly. It's not silly. It makes you feel good. It is very important for our kids to be involved in sports and extracurricular activities. It helps them be popular and have lots of friends. <laughs> I get most of my clothes at the Goodwill unless I make them myself. Uh, there has to be, like, some sort of doctor that tells people not to do that. I'm not... That's not, not, not happening. It's just kind of a sick and twisted way to live. Next, 